Welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. I'm Pete from Pete.new. We're starting this episode in Boulder City, and I'd like to have a little chat with you, so let's let's walk and talk. Now, over the last few months, um, and for quite a while, even going as far back as Dead Money, I've been thinking about the future of this series. I really like Fallout New Vegas, so I want to keep making videos of it. And there is so much in this game that I haven't touched upon yet. There's quests I haven't done, there's locations I haven't visited, or have only just dropped in for a second. But then I also can't help feeling that this particular courier may be close to the end of his journey. He's not level 50, but he is maxed out in all skills except one. He's completed all the DLCs, he's got access to all the best equipment in the game. Now, a little while back I had an idea for how to solve this dilemma, and I have spent some time contemplating and refining that plan. And we're now on episode 94 of this series, and I've decided what I'm going to do. I'm going to tidy up my loose ends, and then I'm going to complete the series for an independent New Vegas as planned, I'm going to aim to finish smack bang on episode 100. And I will then create a new courier for the purposes of continuing exploring Mojave. Now the main challenge I've got here is trying to keep things fresh. I don't want you to feel like you're watching the same thing all over again. So what I've done is I've come up with a collection of rules which will achieve that. And it will also make the game slightly more challenging as well. And now is why I'm mentioning this. Because I want to talk about one of the rules in particular. Because I'm on my way to Hoover Dam right now. Now, one of the things you may have noticed in this playthrough is that I have avoided the NCR quite a lot. I did Boulder City Showdown, because that's so closely tied into the main quest line, and I did Hard Luck Blues, and I did There Stands the Grass, because they took me to vaults 34 and 22, respectively. But apart from that, I haven't done any NCR quests. I've also generally only visited NCR locations. Well, what? Dam. Yeah? One of the last remaining functioning wonders of the pre-war world. Arcade, I I'm was amazed it's still running at all. I was actually in the middle of everyone's killing each other over it. I was actually saying something. Are you done? Um yeah, NCR. Uh, and yeah, generally the only times I've been to NCR locations is to collect skill books or kill people for their armor. And right now, I've come to Hoover Dam just for the single reason of stealing a snow globe. Let's drop inside and grab that. So it's just on the desk here. I don't think I have to steal it. Nah, I can just grab it. Brilliant. Anyway, so let's go back out. You've probably figured uh, where I'm going with this. What my plan is, is my next courier, his affiliation will be completely to the NCR, which means that I'll be going to different locations, I'll be doing different quests, and when you add that to the other rules that I've decided to impose, which I will tell you about nearer the time, I think that even people who've watched every single episode in this series, they'll still feel like it's, it's not overlapping, it's not repeating itself. So for this episode, there's two loose ends I want to tidy up. The first is to collect all the base game's snow globes and hand them in, and the second is to do something with all those vault jumpsuits that I've been so carefully hoarding, which means the next place we want to go is to the strip. So on... Oh. That was... messy. I think some bits kind of bounced a bit. You have been warned. Wow, that's... That's brutal, you guys. <laughs> this talk is someone going into the Lucky 38 to talk to Mr. House. That's bullshit. Everyone knows... <laughs> he just disappeared in the... Are you, are you hurt? Oh, no, you're just sort of standing on a curb, kind of jauntily. Can I do that as well? Can I, can I straddle the edge of the curb? Yeah, I can do it too. Yeah, look at us. Um, yeah, weird disappearing Kings members in the middle of talking, I don't know. Uh, subject of snow globes. Yes, snow globes. Now, I want to find all the snow globes in the base game, and that's not going to be too tricky to do, because I've actually got most of them already. Now, Just finding... Lost the month's caps. Shut up. They're so rude, they just interrupt you. Can't they see them in the middle of a conversation? Finding all the snow globes in all the DLCs, now that's actually something that's going to be impossible because I failed to pick up the one that was in Dead Money. And I'm not going to get that opportunity again. I can't go back to the Sierra Madre. So I can't get all DLC snow globes. I'm going to have to satisfy myself with just all of the base game ones. So let's do that. Let's jump through the greenery and let's head into the Vault 21 gift shop. Now before I do, where's Eddie? You guys coming around there, okay. 
Uh, I've, I've loaded up Eddie with uh, all my vault jumpsuits. I'm just going to take one off of him for now. So this here is Sarah, and she is the one who likes hey. the jumpsuits. Hey! Hi, I'm Sarah at Sarah Weintraub. Welcome to the finest vault hotel in the whole world. Uh, what kind of things do you sell in this gift shop? I have all sorts of things. Vault souvenirs, vault wares, vault machines, vault mementos, and vault suits. And, well, lots of other vault things, too. Vault gear? Swell. Can you show me what you got? Oh, yeah, sure. Okay, I got these great lunch boxes. They're super. What else? Oh, oh, look at these toasters. You like toast, right? If they're crunchy, even better. What about a vintage vault tech toy car? Or... Sarah, stop right there. Do you actually have any vault gear? Okay, I do, but who wants a lame sensor module or a nitrogen canister anyway? All the popular stuff has been sold, especially the vault suits. I need to find more because people buy them like hotcakes. Leather suits are good times. Thinking about that just blows my top. Oh, yeah. Um... <laughs> so, see, I'll help you out. You would? You really would? That would help me a lot. All right, consider it done. Thank you so much. You're an angel. I can't wait to see you again. So if I now talk to her again... Good to see you again. I've got a vault suit in my inventory. I have vault gear for you. You do? That's wonderful. Let me see what you brought. All right. That's going to net you lots of caps, my friend. Do you want to trade all your vault suits right now? Uh, yeah, I would like that. Oh, that makes me so happy. You are too much. Now, the thing is about the vault suits is you gain a little bit of strip positive reputation each time you trade in some vault suits. So to maximize the amount of reputation you get, Good to see you, you have again. to trade them in one at a time. You do? That's wonderful. Do you want to trade all your vault suits right now? Now, obviously, people with, you know, lives... Uh, might not want to go through all this rigmarole of trading in 30 vault suits one at a time but I, I'm I'm really quite sad so I'm going to do it I'm going to maximise my strip fame I'm going to oh, do them one at a so time happy. You are too much. Hang on, I only got 30 Did I accidentally trade in a vault suit that I wasn't intending on trading in? Maybe mm, It's hard to say Right, anyway Well, well, if it isn't the Vault Explorer himself. Welcome back. Okay, so I think I might have reached 10 jumpsuits there, which is why I got a slightly different welcome. Uh, but let's let's keep trading. You do? That's... Okay, and I've now hit liked at the strip. Very good. Let's keep on trading in these jumpsuits. Still a fair few left to go. Oh. Hey, stranger. Where you been, huh? I missed you. Okay, so I've now traded 30 Vault jumpsuits, I'm guessing, because I got a slightly different greeting that time. Um, so now now she likes me a lot, so I can now uh, romance her. So Sarah, prepare to be romanced. Yeah, pass by my room and we'll catch up. You're kicking me into gear, huh? Well, I think I'll drive my chassis over to your pad. Wait for me down there, and don't forget the oil. Oh, yeah. Oh, her meal just appeared. Oh, and disappeared. I was thinking she obviously wasn't in that much of a hurry if she was sort of willing to start with a snack. Okay, you're, uh... Where are you going? I don't even know which one is my room. Nor do you, apparently. Okay, maybe I need to go on ahead. I'm a little bit dehydrated, so I might not be at my best. And down we go. Into Vault 21. Let me see. Now, I think uh, the place she wants me to go, the, the my room in question, is sort of... Oh, that's it's busy in here. Down here to the left. Um, is it this one, maybe? I'm frozen in place. Oh, hello, Sarah. I can't move. Oh. Oh, that's nice. Oh. 
did a bit of a basic instinct for me there. All right. So, given how I was frozen to the spot in the doorway, I'm assuming, like, Arcade Ganon's gone over there and romanced her? Or, or maybe Eddie has, I don't know. But, um, oh, I can move now. Oh, she kept her pit boy on for, uh, for romance. Now, I uh, guess... Oh, hello. Yeah, you were here. I, I think... Isn't the snow globe in here? Maybe I'm confused. Maybe it's somewhere else. I was sure it was in here. In there? No, that's, that's a little bit of... Jet? Sarah's into jet, is she? Never would have thought it. Uh, that's empty. There's a guest terminal. Um, should I use it? Services. No, no. no. Oh, like maybe the maybe the snow globe's like next door or something. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, th this is it. M maybe this is Sarah's room actually. Um, yeah, this is Sarah's room. So that's my jet apparently. Ta-da! There we go. And that's the the final globe. Uh, oh, I can I can activate her terminal. Let's hope she doesn't sneak in while I'm reading her emails. Exact match first time. Right, what was she been writing? Uh, Sarah Weintraub's mail. Messages. New message from Sheldon Weintraub. Hey, little sis, how are you holding up? I miss you so much, Sarah. This place makes me want to run back to our home every single day. The warehouse's cold air weighs on me as heavily as the concrete that Mr. House dumped in our vault. Damned be his soul. Everything that once inspired my art slowly drifts back into nothingness into an unfathomable void where neither I find light nor its radiance searches for the... Oh, he is... He is a... quite a, an arty type. Our influential friends. This is Charlene Tan writing to say thank you for the great experience we had at your hotel. Even Biff still talks about his new favourite ranging garb. The leather from my Vault 21 suit contains the scent of unwashed ages, he says to all our visitors. Okay, a little bit more... Uh... Oh, I lost karma for reading her emails. But I did get a sort of an achievey type thing. Uh, oh, I want to know what she's got in her dresser. I mean, the thing is, you know, Sarah and I we've we've swapped fluids, so you know this isn't really that much of a ooh, uh, much of an imposition by. Well, she, she's got some jumpsuits she's keeping in there. Well, I don't need to collect jumpsuits anymore. Ooh. Let's get out of here before she sees us. Right, let's head back over to the hotel. What's it called? The tower? You know, the tall thing? House's thing. The Lucky 38, that's the fella. Let's head back there and hand in all these snow globes. Which then completes the snow globius portion of our journey. Still daytime out on the strip. Robots not firing any missiles in here. That's good. So much more peaceful by comparison. Please enjoy the casinos. This road has seen better days. I should really get someone in to do something about that. There we go, the Lucky 38 in all of its majesty. Emily Ortel's still here. Hey, Emily. Thanks again for helping with Mr. House's data network. Come see me at the old Mormon Ford if you get a chance. Well, I would, but something tells me you just stand here all day, every day. Like this guy. Help you. He's really suspicious. He's up to something. I'm surprised that House hasn't made his securitons kill him to bits. Because he's just, he's definitely loitering. Loitering is the word. Up to the penthouse. This is where we hand in the snow globes. I bet those boomers have some awfully big guns. They do, my dear. I have some snow globes for Mr. House's collection. You do? Why, that's just wonderful. I'll take them and put them with the rest of the collection. Thank you. Uh, goodbye. She's quite quiet at that. So if we now head to the presidential suite, we can look at the collection in all of its glory. Uh, it's in here, I believe. There they are. Look at them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All the snow globes. Achievement. Achievement. What's up there? What's that one? The, oh, Zion National Park. Oh, that's showing me my DLC snow globe up there. Oh, that's very good, yes. Um, and yeah, as I say, the dead money one is lost to me forever. I could go back to big mountain and I could go back to the divide 
and pick up the ones I've missed in there. Don't know. Uh, right, follow me, guys. Because, yeah, when you go into the lucky 38, these guys Lead automatically on. switch into waiting mode. Help you? Huh? Yeah. Now, over there, you can see the, the glorious casino that is the Ultralux uh, behind the Las Vegas Boulevard station over there. I'm going to be heading over there soon, very, very soon. Don't miss the Lonesome Drifter, live at the Aces Theatre. Song so sad and lonesome, audience members of the opposite sex will be fighting over who gets to go back to the room with you, guaranteed. Um, stop bugging me. Yeah, that's that's pretty much hey, summing up job, my okay. opinion. Sheesh. <laughs> I wouldn't have minded if you'd said that if it weren't for the fact that you'd completely stolen my attention. But look at this board. Here we go. Lonesome Drifter, Hadrian the Ghoul, Bruce Isaac. A lot of our work. Um, anyway, as I was saying, yeah, uh, gonna head into the Ultralux quite soon. But before I do, while we're in the habit of finishing off quests, uh, there's a couple of old uh, Great Khan's quests here, uh, which I think I'm gonna go and deal with. So let's let's make one of those active. Uh, this one here, yeah. Let's return to Melissa, who is at the Great Khan encampment up here. Hopefully, there aren't any death claws around here these days. Shouldn't be. Hello again, Great Khans. How are you doing? Everybody seems to be good. Wow, would you look at that? Doesn't New Vegas look majestic? All the lights are shining. Uh, you... Sure whiskey with me sometime? Uh, yeah, let's take a rain check on that for now. Hi, Melissa. What do you want now? I got the chems for you. You actually came through for us. I didn't expect that. Anyway, the Great Khans pay their debts and don't forget their friends. If you ever come out to Red Rock Canyon... I'll put in a good word for you. Thank you. Don't leave a trail. I won't. Oh, now, now idolised with great calms, to be honest. I thought I was before anyway. Uh, I noticed um, she had an Australian accent. You don't get many Australian accents in New Vegas. But uh, there's one. Right, and let's return to Diane for our payment up in Red Rock Canyon. And this will polish off Abba Dabba Honeymoon, the other great Khan quest that has been sat in our quest log for weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks so is she still awake yeah looks like she is did you make that delivery yet oh is she australian as well huh. um yeah i finished the vault three run and you didn't even get skinned alive i'm impressed here's your payment i've also learned a special move initiate a power attack while moving left or right and you do pocket sand awesome uh, any new jobs not right at the moment but you could talk to jack He's always looking for new recipes. Uh, see you later. Bye. Okay, so that's another couple of quests quite quickly ticked off. So before I head back to the Ultralux yeah. and do the quests in there, I'm just going to go and pop back to Novak. Now the thing is that once I'm inside uh, the Ultralux, there's going to be a small amount of fighting required. So in order that I don't get completely ripped apart, I need to make sure that I've got some pretty awesome holdout weapons for myself and Mr. Arcade Ganon. So let's have a little look in our weapons chests and see what we can do. Uh, Saturnite Fist Superheated, I think that is a holdout weapon. Uh, what about in here, have we got any sort of awesome tiny weapons? I think Dr. Mobius' glove might be one. Salt Upon Wounds' is Power Fist, yeah that's worth a go. Uh, and then let's just grab some regular old spiked knuckles and such like from here. There we go, two pairs of spiked knuckles. That'll do. Right, let's uh, let's go on to the Ultralux. Thank you for visiting new things. I've got advanced dehydration, which is a bit uh, a bit annoying. Wonder if there's some water somewhere I can drink. Um, water, water. I don't think I have any, do I? No, I'm a fool. Maybe... Well, the Tops has quite a nice restaurant. Uh, actually, no, let's, let's head on into the Ultralux. Oh, actually, there's a fountain right in front of me. This is surely drinkable. No shame. Yeah, there we go. Sorted. So, 
first issue being addressed, let's head inside the Ultralux. Beg your pardon, but could I trouble you to turn over your weapons? Uh, sneak 50, keep hold at weapons. Sure, here you go. My deepest apologies for the slightest inconvenience. You have my assurance that everything will be returned upon your departure. But we simply can't have anyone waving their weapons around in the hotel. It's not the atmosphere we wish to cultivate. Please, enjoy your stay. I will. Goodbye. Pleasure speaking to you. So let's see, what did they leave me with? Just the spiked knuckles. They took all the good stuff. Okay, well, I guess we're going to have to make do with these. I mean, they're still better than bare fists, aren't they? Um, still, I'm surprised I didn't get to keep the other unarmed weapons. I thought that with my sneak of 100, I'd be able to do that. Yeah. Hmm. Never mind. Our executive chef, Philippe, is the toast of New Vegas. His Brahmin Wellington is absolutely sublime. Okay. Right, let's, um... So to kick off the Beyond the Beef quest, we Have need to talk that tower on the strip to this fella. You can see it for miles. It's quite a chatty fella, as you can see, Heck Gunderson. Beg your pardon, stranger, but I'm looking for someone. You ain't seen a young man with dark brown hair and a white hat on lately, have you? No, I haven't. <sighs> ain't nobody got one darn piece of news about my boy. Not one lousy speck of information. Ain't got one Brahmin unaccounted for across a dozen ranches. But I'm here for an hour and my own son just up and disappears on me. You lost your son? My boy, Ted. He was right here. I didn't leave him but a minute. I told him to stay put while I talked some things over with the White Glove folks. He was never one to stay tied down to a spot, though. Gets that from his mother. Got most of my staff out looking for him now. I'd be out myself, but I keep hoping he'll show up back here. Of course, if he does that, I'll whoop him till his skinny hide turns to leather for putting me through this. But that don't mean I wouldn't be grateful. Let me help find your son. I'd be more than happy to have you. Heck, I'll hire anybody with a pair of legs and at least one good eye at this point. There'd be a lot of money in it for you if you can get him back to me safe. And if he ain't, you can bet I'll pay for the names of the sons of bitches responsible. Um, why is your bodyguard allowed to have a gun? Made me a special arrangement with the hotel. They want to do business with me, they got to play by my rules. A lot of people out there resent success, might want to take a swipe at me. This makes them think twice. If I'd have been thinking, though, I'd have had him watching my boy instead. Then none of this would have happened. Goodbye. I'll be here. So, our quest is to find his son, and we're going to do that in the next episode, and we're going to try and get the best ending for this quest if we can. See you next time. Bye-bye.